What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Company back with another Dokkan battle video and today we're showcasing a rainbow in Zamasu. So let's jump right into it. So we're taking him on a Patara team for that double 170% boost from the double LR Vegitos. And I want to make it clear that I did not intentionally rainbow this guy. <laughs> I just pulled a crap ton of copies while trying to pull the physical Broly. And uh, for some reason, man, I did not pull a single copy of the Broly, but I ended up pulling either three or four copies of this unfeatured in Zamasu. Now, I'm not upset at the fact that I pulled this guy as opposed to... I mean, I am upset about the fact I didn't pull the Broly, but I'm not upset about pulling him because he's actually quite a good unit, right? The only issue is that this guy's unfeatured, man. I just don't understand, like how I can keep pulling the same unfeatured but not a single of the featured units I want like it just makes no sense to me either way um, let's focus on this guy <laughs> I'm done complaining about it I'm done with Broly as you guys can see he tanks very well damage wise not too bad either about 900 and what was it 20 30k there so damage output wise it's still not bad of course we're considering him on a double 170% lead um, team here and he's also linked with probably one of his, if not his best linking partner in STR Rose. And he also had the Vegito uh, passive active, the tech Vegito for the 30% attack. So usually it's going to be a little bit lower than that, but you can expect easily maybe 700 to 800k attack stat on average. And uh, I'm really misplaying here. I apologize, guys, because sometimes when I talk in these showcases, I kind of mess up the gameplay. So I didn't get the uh, super attack off. Got with who it was either <laughs> but it doesn't really matter uh hit is dead so we're on the tech hit stage right now and then we'll go over to probably the transforming frieza i usually like to do boss rush but sometimes boss rush gets a little bit boring too as sure as i'm sure you guys um agree like if people keep doing boss rush for these showcases then eventually you get tired of seeing the same bosses so i try to change it up a little bit uh let's see if Mm, I think either way, it's the same same links that are active. Yeah, same links that are active. Speaking of links, let me tell you guys a little bit about the uh, Inzamasu while we're doing the showcase here. So his leader skill is an extreme type leader skill. HP, attack, defense plus 80%. We're getting supered here. Is he gonna be a lot? Oh, man. Got stunned. I forgot that he had the stun, but we only took that super for 3.8k, which is fantastic. But going back to his extreme type leader skill, HP, attack, and defense plus 80%. Now, that's a decent boost, but it's pretty much unusable in today's meta, mainly because it doesn't give any key, right? So, for in my opinion, for a leader skill to be considered actually usable, it has to provide at least like two key, ideally three key. Uh, you know, some of these new LRs give four key. Now, wow, I'm really misplaying here. Hold on. Uh, there, we got super off. Okay. <laughs> and, um,. You know, this guy doesn't provide any key, so as far as a leader goes, he's not going to be a great one. Um, his super attack deals supreme damage to the enemy and heals your team, or your, your you overall, your max HP by 7%, which is not bad, not bad at all. And his passive reduces all incoming attack damages. Man, why did I say it like that? Reduces all incoming damage by 40%, at least the damage that's directed at him. And he also, uh, what else does he do? <laughs> He also increases his attack and defense by up to 60%. The more HP remaining, the greater the boost. So I'm not going to lie. I do have a little sticky at the side here that I'm breathing off because I don't memorize all this stuff. But um, yeah, really good card overall. And as far as his links go, he has power bestowed by God, uh, cold judgment, prodigies, godly power, dismal future, fear and faith, and fierce battle. So you know, he's a solid card. I wouldn't say he's like crazy. He's not mind-blowingly good. He's not going to be like, you know, changing your account. But as you can see here, he's doing pretty well. 775k attacks that. He just did an additional as well. So in total, combine those, about 1.5 mil. This guy keeps getting stunned though. What the heck? Um, but he is an excellent, excellent tank. He really helped me a lot, especially when I was doing Super Battle Road. He was super clutch with the healing and the tanking and putting out a little bit of damage too. But for Realm of Gods, he was on my team. For, um, for Patara, I believe I had him on my team as well, mainly for the tanking and the healing and also for Extreme Int, of course. So this guy is going to help you a ton if you guys are struggling in certain modes that 
do a lot of damage to you, I would definitely consider throwing him on one of those teams, and I think you will find that he's super useful. So, like I said, not a crazy card, but definitely, definitely a really useful card, especially considering that he is um, a non Dokkan Fest unit. So, he's gonna be pretty easy to pull compared to some of the other Dokkan Fest exclusives, right? He's on every single banner, you'll pull him as you know, the uh, guaranteed unit quite quite often, the guaranteed SSR in the last slot. And uh, that's what happened to me, man. This guy just kept popping up on the Broly banner. I don't really understand uh, why or how, but you know what? I'm not going to complain about it too much because he is a good unit. Yo, he is mad annoying, eh? <laughs> this guy just locked my Zamasu and my Rose, so now they're going to be out of rotation. Or at least the Rose is going to be out of rotation, and um, we won't be able to see how well the Zamasu can tank all those attacks. Although my Vegito Blue is going to show out, I believe he has three dupes. Absolute beast. Still one of the... I believe he's still the hardest hitting TUR in the game. But I get sidetracked too much, man. I, I get like <laughs> carried away with talking about other units in my showcases too often. So we're going to go back to Zamasu. We're going to see what kind of damage he can do against this tech hit here. Um, and my Vegito Blue took a lot of damage from that super. Okay, six, 675k. There we go. By the way, of course, um, Zamasu does have the healing on his super. So every time he supers, he will heal you by 7%, your max HP by 70%. And uh, I believe I gave him a lot of additional. So that's how I built, built my Zamasu. It's totally up to you guys. But because he's not really geared towards damage output, I would recommend honestly going with the build I went with, which is as much additional as possible, and then the rest you can give to, if you want, you can give to um, critical, if you want to get him to do a little bit more damage, or you can go the, um, what do you call it, the dodge route, right, to give him a little bit more tankiness so that if you, I don't know, like, <laughs> I, I guess it doesn't really matter because he tanks so well, right, like the most it's going to take from a super is like 10k, so maybe dodge isn't as important. He already has the built-in 5% dodge in his hidden potential as an int unit. So it's really up to you guys, but the main thing I would say is go for all additionals and then uh, the rest to crit because like I said, man, the more attacks he gets off, the more he's gonna heal you for and the more useful he's gonna be in that aspect as far as a healer goes. Okay, so we saw him against hit. Did, did pretty well. He tanked at least very well. His damage, like I said, is not super crazy. But let's take on, uh, let's see, let's take on Tech Transforming Frieza, and then I'm probably gonna call it a showcase because you guys don't need to see it that much, right? You guys already have a general idea of how good this guy is, or at least what he can do. And uh, it, this is a bit different from my other showcases because every other showcase I've pretty much done is like, wow, look at his damage. Look. Look how much damage you can do, 3 million, 4 million, so on and so forth. They're speaking of damage output, that new GT trio on JP, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the GT LR with Goku, Pan, and Trunks is like in contention for the hardest hitting LR in the game right now. And that's, oh my god, Zamasu's in the last rotation, what the heck, that's annoying. But um, they're just, there's crazy, a crazy, crazy card, man. I saw my boy Rawad do a showcase of them, and he got them up to like 8 million attack stat with the LR Pan passive active. But, like, damn, what the heck? No no dupes, and it, it they hit for that much. So, I'm excited to have them come to JP, I mean, to Global at some point. It's not gonna happen until the second part of the four year anniversary on Global, which is gonna. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a while, but still, it's it's on the horizon, so global players get ready, and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's gonna be huge. Okay, um, let's focus for just a bit. I'm gonna put Rose out of rotation just because I want him to link up with the Zamasu at some point in this battle, unless we kill him first. Right, we, we, might, we might kill Frieza too fast, because this team is still crazy, man. Patara? For the longest time, I don't know if it's still true, but for the longest time, Patara was the strongest category in the game, and I feel like it's still probably in the top three, if not top five, because uh, the introduction of LR, Goku, and Frieza kind of threw off all the rankings, because any team with LR, Goku, and Frieza is going to hit extremely, extremely hard, just because that, that unit is so freaking broken, right? 
Okay. Oh, last thing I forgot to mention about Inzamasu, by the way, is that he has a ton of categories. An absolute crazy amount of categories. He's in uh, Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, Dragon Ball Seekers, and Time Travelers. Uh, hold on, I think I missed one. Future Saga, Patara, Dragon Ball Seekers, Realm of Gods. Five. Okay, so he's in five categories. Okay, so maybe not as many as I thought. <laughs> For a second, I was like, I, th I thought he was like in like six or seven categories, but five categories is still really good. And that means it's going to be a very versatile unit for you, so if you guys are missing units in any of those categories, then he would be a good unit to put in there. And look, look how much damage he's taking from the uh, Frieza right now, man. He, he's taking normal attacks for double digit damage, took a super for, what was it, like a thousand, maybe a couple thousand? I didn't really notice there, but he's just an amazing, amazing tank, man. Like, he might not do damage, and... Honestly, I think that's okay. I think he's just so good at everything else that, to me, he was worth the orbs. Ah, oh, crap. I just messed up there. You know what? I'm going to say it was on purpose. That was on purpose. I, I was trying to keep Frieza alive for as long as possible so that we can see Zamasu do more stuff, do more attacks, you know? So, uh, yeah, we're, that we're going to say that was on purpose. <laughs> Not my crappy misplaying. And honestly, it's just... I'm not paying attention, man. I need to get better at multitasking, like talking at the same time at playing the game properly. If you guys have tuned into my streams in the past, I, I do this a lot, man. When I'm doing like Extreme Z Battles or Super Battle Road, misplays happen a ton because I'm so focused on talking to people and like trying to reply to people's comments and then I accidentally like mess up my rotations or don't get someone super off just because I'm so focused on that. But you know what, we're going to pay more attention to the game because we're almost done here. Look at that, guys. Look at this Look at this man taking a regular hit for 9 damage. 9 damage. Oh my god. <sighs> I love tanks. I love tanks. Um, I, I know that, generally speaking, the attention and the love is, you know, focused on uh, damage dealers, right? People really want to see the big numbers and people generally only get excited for units that can do a lot of damage but for me personally man i i love units that can tank man units that can take damage because for the more end game content in this game like super battle road for some of the harder stuff like doing doing damage is cool like lr broly hits like a crazy amount of, he does a crazy amount of damage but he's absolutely well i wouldn't say he's useless but he's definitely a liability when it comes to super battle road and stuff mainly because this guy can't take a hit at all man he's 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 like a wet sponge when it comes to taking damage so um i don't even know if that's the right expression but you guys know what i'm trying to say he just is not good in that aspect at all uh, for tanking he's a glass cannon so i really really love um tanks i love units that can take hits and also deal a little bit of damage which is exactly what Zamasu is so he is definitely one of my favorite extreme units in this game and uh this is exciting because we get to see actually what he can take this super from the golden frieza for now 34 damage guys 34 damage i'm pretty sure you guys saw me pop the deborah cookie oh crap <laughs> damn I popped that cookie because I wanted to see a little bit like extra damage from him and uh, we got stunned. I, I forgot that that first super from Frieza actually stuns. But you know what? He took that hit for 34 damage. So it, either way, it's successful. But yeah, I popped the Deborah cookie and I was pretty sure that it didn't add defense. So it doesn't add defense. It only adds attack. So we would have only seen like a pretty impressive damage number from him but it did not help with the tanking at all all that tanking was was the masu man it was his own passive it was the 60 percent defense that he got and also the 40 percent reduction to all damage received and the fact that he's rainbowed obviously means he has more defense than your average free dupe zamasu but even without the extra damage or extra defense from the hidden potential um uh, what do you call it the system right <laughs> hidden potential system he still is gonna tank quite well so if you guys haven't given this man the attention he deserves or haven't really like used him at all you just left him in your box at like sa1 level one you know like you didn't really give him any investment at all maybe watching the showcase will change your mind man maybe it's time to dust off your zamasu and take him for a spin on some of the harder modes in this game some of the end game content maybe dokkan battlefield or virtual dokkan whatever you guys want to call it 
and I think he'll do some good stuff for you. I think you'll notice that he's actually a very good unit, 87 damage, 69 damage, mainly for the tanking, mainly for the tanking. Damage output, not crazy, but as you can see, we're still at full health, and that's partially because of the Zamasu healing us every single turn. Also, the LR Goku Black, of course, um, giving us 15% healing every turn. So this team is very hard to kill. Like, Batara is very, very tanky. Number one, because it has actual tanky units, but number two, also because it has a ton of healing, especially if you have In Zamasu on your team. So great unit. Great, great unit overall. Very, very solid. I wouldn't go as far to say, like, he's amazing, right? Because he's not, like, he's not, like, super impressive in any aspect, but he tanks amazingly, or he tanks great. <laughs> I just said I wasn't gonna say amazing. He tanks great, he deals good damage, and uh, what else does he do? He also, he's just a good unit, man. I don't know what else to say, he's a good unit. I went with as many additionals as possible. Uh, that's why I recommend everybody to do as far as building him if you have dupes. And uh, take him for a spin, let me know what you guys think. And that's going to do it for the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it. That's all from me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. Yeah.